What's up, you scallywags? Captain Bob here. We're going to talk today a little bit about cook kits. If you're going to do bike packing or paneers, touring, all that stuff, you got to have a cook kit. I can't really take credit for this. There's a lot of this stuff that's already out there on YouTube, but I did get a lot of my ideas from here. Um, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I'm not going to invest in titanium. Um, I just don't want to spend that kind of dough right now. So I'm looking for something that's affordable but practical and useful. So I'm going to show you kind of what the basics of what I put together. This is by no means complete, but let's just take a look at what I've got so far and see if it might apply for you. I'm going to have some links to some of those products down in the description if you have interest, just so you know what I'm kind of using, uh, if I can find links for them. So let's get to it. All right, let's get started here. What we've got is I have the infamous Stanley pot. You can buy this on Amazon. You can buy this at Walmart. You can buy it at your um, local outdoor store. You're going to pay too much for it if you go to your outdoor store. If you buy this at Walmart or if you buy this on Amazon, you're going to get this pot with the lid. And these two cups come with it. Just stack in here just like that. And this is going to be 15 bucks. Um, I'm not going to use these two cups. It's very popular for folks to take these and, and uh, basically get rid of them. Um, in essence, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use the cook pot itself. It's pretty big. It says 20 ounces to here, but obviously you can fill it fuller. I've started to take this tape off and stuff. It comes with a lid. The lid has holes in it so that you can strain or drain, vent, same thing. Um, pretty handy. What I like about it is it's affordable, it's useful, stainless steel, relatively lightweight. No, it's not titanium, but it'll be fine. With that, I bought this. Now you can go on to Amazon and buy the GSI version of this. It's going to cost you about 15 bucks as well. It's just a cup, uh, 18 ounces. I don't know what it is in mill milliliters or whatever. 18 ounces though, but the reality is you should go to Walmart and buy this. I can't find this any cheaper than at Walmart, what they have. This one was from Walmart. It comes with these, you know, handles you use. And this was like just shy of $5. I can't find one anywhere any cheaper than this. It's Ozark Trail brand. It's made in China. It's stainless steel. It is identical to the GSI. I cannot find anything any different about it. And then the nice thing about this um, is that this Stanley will nest inside of there. And then you've seen this probably online a lot. So that you have the ability to nest them together and put them in your pack or your paneer or wherever else you're putting this stuff. So that's one thing. The other thing that's really nice about this Stanley is these MSR fuel canisters. This is the four ounce, or I think it's called 100 gram. I don't know. This thing will fit in there perfectly upside down. Slides right to the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. All the way to the bottom. So what you've got here is room then to get yourself your stove, a camp towel, camp suds, some other things and put inside there. Show you that again. So basically upside down, it'll fit right in there. These fuel canisters you can buy anywhere. This is an MSR. I got this at a local local store. Um, my local bike shop sells these. They're five bucks. I don't think it's worth ordering them, but if you want to do that, go right ahead. Uh, you can get them all, all, all kinds of places. So what you've got is just a great way to nest these together into here. The other thing I want to show you, and I want to do a full review on this at some point, but this is the... E-Tech City mini camping stove. I got this on Amazon. This thing has like 2,500 reviews at four and a half stars, and I just couldn't pass up giving it a shot. <laughs> you want to go buy an MSR stove and spend more money or some other brand, that's fine, but for $11, I'm willing to give this a shot, so I'm going to do it. I've got a link down in the description to this stove uh, so you can take a look at it. Here's the packaging that it comes in. You can see it's really small. 
it's it's really pretty lightweight. Let me open this up for you. This snaps on there. The stove is in here. So you can see it has these knurled uh, portion on the bottom where you screw it on top of the canister. And this is the uh, for adjusting the, the flame. And then these just fold around, just like so. And then these will fold out. So the basics are you can put this on uh, top of your fuel canister and then your um, cups will sit on top of here without a problem or your Stanley will sit on top of there and uh, without a problem as long as you've got them. Yeah, you do have to have a flat surface, but you know that's pretty standard for all of these. The other nice thing about this, it does have this PZO electric igniter. Uh, you do want to carry a, a backup uh, probably just in case this thing stops working. Um, but you can light off of this PZO electric and uh, a big mini. I would carry one of those mini bics all the time if you could or whatever. So let me show you how this all kind of goes together. So I'm gonna and my fuel canister is gonna go in upside down. I leave the little plasticky uh, cover on the top of the fuel canister. I don't think it really matters, but I leave it on there. Um, and then the stove. The nice thing about this is sideways. It fits in there. Just, just a little tight to keep it from rattling around, which is fabulous. The, f the spork won't quite fit inside there, so that's okay. But then I just fold this up. Now what I do with this camp towel is I wrap this thing around the bottom like this. That way when I go to put it in here, it's a press fit. So it just slides in there. Now I just fold that down around the outside. That kind of keeps the handles on the outside of this from rattling. Attach my spoon on there, tie it up with this cord or this tie, and you're good to go. This is how I plan to use it in my stuff. I'm just going to throw this in one of my panniers on the bike, and I'm going to use it for bike packing, touring, whatever. Uh, anyway, that's that. I'll give you the total weight here. Let me get a scale. So I've got my digital scale here zeroed out. Note that I have the full, it's a brand new fuel canister. So what you're going to see is the weight with a brand new fuel canister. So it's one pound and nine ounces is what that comes out to. So no, it's not the lightest, but uh, you know, I think it'll work. Hope you enjoyed it. Consider giving us a thumbs up, sharing this with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't. We hope to talk to you again real soon.